Thank you, thank you. So I love being a stand-up comedian. This is what I always wanted to do. Uh, I have had other jobs in the past, though. Uh, I used to juggle chainsaws. <laughs> it went well for a while. Uh, I had to get out, couldn't take the politics, is what it was. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to be was a pro wrestler. Um, that's the absolute truth. Uh, I had a name picked out and everything. I was gonna be the cripple threat. <laughs> okay. That was, well, that was clever. But people will ask me dumb questions all the time. I'll get this one a lot. They'll be like, hey, Ryan, is that genetic? <laughs> yes. Uh, because you see, my mom was Irish, and my dad was a lobster. <laughs> kids are the worst, though. Oh, kids are the absolute worst, though, because kids don't have that filter. You know, if a kid says you're ugly, you're ugly. All right, deal with it. <laughs> Buy a hat. I don't know what to tell you. I had this eight-year-old girl recently uh, come up to me, and if you're ever feeling pretty good about yourself, let an eight-year-old girl verbally kick you in the nuts. That'll fix that for you. Uh, but this little girl, after she saw me, and after she screamed, after screamed, it was a big scream, uh, which, side note, has led me to a new game that I play. Uh, now when I'm out in public and I see a child staring at my arms, I like to pretend that I'm discovering them for the first time, too. <laughs> You're like, what are you? Oh my God! What happened? <laughs> and that's why I'm not allowed at Toys R Us anymore, so. Thank you. Thank you. Very happy to be back here in Los Angeles. Thank you. I actually just flew in from Indiana, and boy, are my arms missing! Well, that's United for you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, People always want to underestimate me because I have this disability. People underestimate me all the time. I had a woman come up to me after a show recently and she had some questions. She was like, oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> can, can you drive? And I was like, yeah, oh, good for you, good for you, good for you. <laughs> Making it happen. <laughs> can you read? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, well, not Braille, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm on the road a lot, so I'm not in these towns very often, so they don't really get to know me. You know, I'll show up in these towns and I'll mess with their world and I'm out. <laughs> you know? drive throughs are probably the worst, though. drive throughs are really bad. Like, this is not in the training. I went through a drive through a couple weeks ago, and as I was leaving, the woman uh, signed thank you to me. <laughs> We had been talking, like we had been talking the entire time. <laughs> That's how I got food. So now I don't know if it's just a quirky thing that she does or if she thought I might have all the disabilities and she was just covering her bases. <laughs> I love her. Thinking about dating again, thinking about dating. Uh, I am a single, I'm single, I'm a single man. Uh, cut. Not for long, apparently. No, because for me, it's really hard to date girls because they're always like, uh, no. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. I think it would help if I could dress better. I think that would help a lot. I would love to dress better. You know, wear a nice button-up shirt with a collar I could reach. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but I can't wear a shirt like that. It's too dangerous. Because here's what happens. Say I put on a nice button-up shirt. I wanted to look fantastic for the ladies in the house tonight. Uh, the problem is, if I don't take one of you home with me, well, I'm sleeping in a button-up shirt. Because <laughs> I can get every button except for that top one. Then I'm just gonna be running around the house looking like a crippled cholo. Just a sadness cape waving in the wind behind me. I'm looking for scissors so I can cut it. Then I remember I'm not supposed to have scissors under ideal conditions, let alone near my jugular. So this is what you get. All right, I'm Ryan Emily, you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, what's up, Club Nub? How are we tonight? Ah, I am very sweaty to be here, thank you. I am not in good enough shape to do this job, is what I'm learning. I picked a job where all I have to do is stand and talk for a while, and I need a nap already. 
I started trying to get in shape this year at the beginning of the year with a New Year's resolution. A lot of people do that, but did you guys know that with New Year's resolutions, you don't have to do them? <laughs> Nobody checks. Nobody follows up at all. I had an entire cake on January 2nd. It was amazing. <laughs> I made the mistake of telling my best friend I was trying to get in better shape. She's in phenomenal shape, and she's one of those people that if she finds out you want to get in shape, she attacks. Because she knows what to do. She's going to get you there. I didn't even get to finish the sentence when I brought it up. I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna lose. Oh, you wanna lose some weight, Ryan? <laughs> Sit down, here's what you gotta do. You need to get a Fitbit. Get a Fitbit, Ryan, that'll help you lose some weight in a hurry. And in all fairness, I have heard those are a great way to lose some weight uh, if you were fortunate enough to be born with wrists. <laughs> Instead of counting my steps, I've been counting the amount of times I dropped my Fitbit. <laughs> I'm getting 8,000 a day. I think that's pretty good, I think that's pretty good. Thank you, thank you. A lot of people still wanna get uncomfortable that I wanna joke about my disability, but this is my life, this is who I am. Like, I'm saying the jokes, it's fine, you're on the team now, welcome. Come on in, the water's nice. I'm not getting in, I'll freaking drown, but you guys. <laughs> and AGT's all still so crazy for me because I grew up in a trailer. Anyone else grow up in a trailer? That is about all the enthusiasm we could afford right there, that's it. <laughs> That growing up in a trailer messed your head, like I'm still not used to going out. You don't really go out when you live in a trailer. The only time you go out if you live in a trailer is if there's a tornado coming. <laughs> tornadoes are the scariest thing on the planet, they just are. I don't know how much you guys know about science, but tornadoes hunt trailers. <laughs> it's a proven fact, they've done studies. The tornado is the trailer's number one predator. But that was always so scary for me. When I was a kid, the weather would get bad, the news would cut in, they'd be like, there's a tornado warning for the area. But if you just go to your basement or interior room, you'll be safe. If you live in a trailer, you're screwed. You'd be better off going outside and fist fighting it. And I did not have fists, so that was really scary. Just, ah! Mom, it's not working! Trailer, you have wheels, just drive away! You are the worst transformer ever! All right, I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys, thank you all so, so much. Oh, I think I just pulled a hammy. That hurt a little bit. Ow. Oh, I'm so happy to be back in Hollywood. I actually drove from Indiana to Los Angeles for AGT because I'm dumb. I am dumb. That is a terrible trip. Like, I live in the Midwest. I love living there. But I think we all can agree the middle of the country is not exactly aesthetically pleasing if you're driving through it. Like, if you've never made the trip, it's basically Los Angeles. Yeah. New York, like that's what you're dealing with. <laughs> when I was driving through Utah, my best friend was trying to cheer me up about it. She was like, oh, Utah's beautiful. Yeah, for about 10 minutes. <laughs> that state takes nine hours to get across. <laughs> you start to go insane, it becomes like an old Looney Tunes cartoon where the background just keeps repeating itself over and over again. <laughs> you're like, I've seen that cactus before and it's flipping me off, what's its problem? I crashed my car into the side of a mountain that a coyote had painted a tunnel on. It was a really rough trip. <laughs> and because I'm a real cool guy, I got a one-armed sunburn on the way, ladies. That's for you, huh? <laughs> See, because when you're a ginger, you have to tan in sections or you catch on fire. <laughs> got a little on my knee. Oh my God. And I actually lived in Florida for a while near the beach, and that was a horrible idea because I would go outside and I'd catch on fire immediately. And then we're surrounded by water, but I couldn't jump in to put myself out because I don't know how to swim. So now I'm just running up and down the beach looking for a stranger to pee on me, and that's a weird way to make friends. <laughs> and before anyone asks, no, that was not an invitation for you to teach me how to swim, all right? I'm a grown man, I don't need that skill, I'm fine. My friends get so mad at me that I refuse to learn to, like, learn to swim because they like to swim and people can't just let other people not like what they like. That's not how they're wired. So they wanna like trick me into taking swimming lessons by coming up with these nightmare scenarios where swimming would be necessary. They'll be like, okay, Ryan, you don't wanna learn to swim? Fine, fine, fine. But what happens if you're out fishing and you fall overboard and there's no one around? Oh, what are you gonna do then, Ryan? Oh, I'm gonna drown. I've come to terms with that. I will die in the water. And why the hell was I out fishing anyway? Did I lose a bet? You can buy fish. 
I don't need to learn to swim is what I'm saying. Like, I'm fine. I don't need a skill. I just avoid the water and I win. There's a reason I live in Indiana. There's no water anywhere. I beat it. You don't got to face your fears every day of your life. I'm also scared of snakes. I don't got to punch a snake every morning, do I? No, I just stay away from snakes. Well, Ryan, what happens if you're on your jet ski? I'm not going to be able to look at jet ski! <laughs> Ever! That's not a fun activity for me. And besides, the jet ski rental place hates when you crap in terror on their jet skis. <laughs> That's how you lose your deposit. All right, I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys. Thank you all so, so much. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you guys so, so much. It's fun to be on TV. I hear the camera adds 10 fingers. Let's do this. <laughs> People have been asking me how my life has changed since being on AGT. I'm being recognized in public a lot, which I still don't know how to feel about. Like, I'm really confident here, but out in the wild, it's a little different. Uh, I'll give you an example. After my audition aired, that following Saturday, I went to a garage sale because I party. That's how we celebrate in Indiana. And I was, I was walking up to the sale. The guy who was running it, he saw me approaching, and he went, Cripple threat! Which was awesome, because that means that he saw me on AGT, but no one else at the garage sale had. <laughs> so it sounded like he was just warning people that a handicapped guy was approaching. <laughs> like, you said I was crazy, but it's real. The cripple threat is here, they're among us. <laughs> he learned to pick locks, he got out of his cage. <laughs> and it's hard to haggle down the price of a blender at that point, so. And I'm fist bumping a lot, everybody. I'm fist bumping just all day. Just, pff, I got tennis elbow from fist bumping so much. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I like to shake hands. That's what I do. Like, if you ever see me out in the street, like, mm, pff, I'm coming in hard and fast. Just pow, let's do this. But like, everyone, like, nobody wants to, like, everyone's fist bumping me. Like, I've been so many people's clearly first fist bump ever. I'm like, you're 95, Ruth, all right? You don't fist bump. <laughs> So I've been trying to figure out why no one wants to shake my hand, and I think I've narrowed it down to two reasons. I think number one, people don't want to shake my hand because they're afraid they're gonna like break it. Like, it's not made of crackers, everybody, all right? Like there's bone in there. Terry Crews has shaken my hand many times and I'm fine. None of you are Terry Crews, I promise. And the second reason I think people don't want to shake my hand, and I swear this is true, I think some people are concerned they're gonna catch it. <laughs> Because they're coming in just, mm, no. And that is ridiculous because the only way you're going to catch it is if I sneeze in your mouth. That's the only way. <laughs> and I feel a cold coming on. <laughs> and I'm inspiring a lot of people, which is amazing, but I think some people are getting inspired the wrong way. I had someone come up to me uh, after a show recently, and they were like, Ryan, you know what? I was having a pretty rough day. Things in my life just haven't been going that great. And then I saw you. And I realized my life's not so bad anymore. If any of you thought that when you saw me walk on this stage tonight, I want you to do me a huge favor and get out, all right? You don't deserve the rest of this. That is ridiculous. Because I can't do that to anyone else. Like, I couldn't stop a woman on the street and be like, ma'am, you know what? I was having a pretty rough day. I just wasn't feeling like a very attractive person. And then I saw you. And I realized I'm at least a seven, so thank you, thank you. Before I get out of here, I'm gonna end on a little bit of a sappy note. I wanna thank America's Got Talent, and I wanna thank all of you in America for voting me this far. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. If you can all vote for me tonight, I would really appreciate it. And if you don't vote for me, it's technically a hate crime. So, <laughs> all right, I'm writing an email to you guys. Thank you all so, so much. The reason I got into comedy and improv is because it was going to help me be a pro wrestler. I fell in love with it about age 11. You know, it's like live action superheroes. You could be whoever you wanted.
picture myself in the ring. I'm, I'm lifting 300 pound guys up, slamming them to the ground, and there's no bigger drama than that. It wasn't gonna be like, oh, here's a poor handicapped guy. It's like, no, he's a badass. He's gonna, he's gonna take care of business. It, they turn their back on the cripple threat. I'm gonna knock them out. That's just all there is to it. Chris Jericho is my all-time favorite wrestler, and he hit me up on Twitter. He said he was a fan of me, which was amazing, because I'm a huge fan of him. Oh. <laughs> What's up? How are you? He said he's going to show me a couple things, so this is, this is going to be fun. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This is a very cool moment for me. It's because I wanted to be a wrestler. Mm. Like, that always kind of felt like an underdog. Right, you know, right. That's where I kind of came up with this cripple threat people underestimating, you know, pushing me around a little bit. But you don't turn your back on the cripple threat. It's kind of what I'm getting at. That's you know? the catchphrase. So I'll try and teach you some tricks. That, would, that is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, spread this here. Just, just get in. And, so. OK, so I go, I go like here. I want you to talk to a legit pro wrestler. Why, like right to his face? Right to his like face. Right to his fa look, don't look at me. Are you sure? Look, look at him. him. Your beard could use some work. Have you, see, have you seen your beard? It's not a real person. OK. Show him what you got. Tell him what you got. You're a dummy. Right now, you're a dummy. Because you're really starting to bother me. The cripple threat's getting a little tired of your sass. Sass? Sass, yeah. I mean, if it's... You can't say sass. I'm going to give this, this guy a modification that's going to make you feel something. That, well, that's Simon, huh? Cow that's Simon Cowell's face. That's right, it's Simon Cowell, the most intimidating judge on TV. But I, I need him to be on my side. Don't worry about him. He's not even from this country. Hey, Simon Cowell, I don't like your hair. You got big ears, and English accents are stupid because they're hard to understand. Something like that. I'm starting to lose a lot of sleep because you got to prepare to impress you up on that stage, and you don't know how hard that is. And you're always wearing white shirts. Even I figured out a button, Simon. And you don't know what ramen noodles are? Who doesn't know what ramen noodles are? Oh, everything's in my hands? Well, your face is about to be in my hands when I rip it off. <laughs> yes, exactly what I'm looking for. I'm a badass. <laughs> he really doesn't know what ramen noodles are? Cripple threat. You have done everything that I asked you to do. You ticked off all the boxes. You said I might get to, to wrestle. Takes years of I mean, training. I, th I think I'm pretty ready for it, though. Like, well, this is serious stuff. You could get really hurt. Well, no, no, I, I, th I think I got it. Because what? Like, I, come here, come here. So it would be something like, like I think I could do this. You know, come, or you learn the talk smack. I'd be like, yeah, what's up? You know, it's going like, I give him a little shove like that. You know, just give him a little bit of shove. Then I just hit the. Whoa, 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 can we whoa. get the medic? Come on. Doing, man? He's a comedian, man. Wait, cut. Guys, come guys, guys, cut, 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 cut. Just come on, come on. Let's get out of the ring. Enough. Come on, Let's guys. get everybody out of here. We, we need some room, guys. Come, come on. on. Oh, my gosh. I feel responsible for this. It, it, this had nothing to do with it. You didn't it, it, make it, him do this. That's what you think. I, I feel personally responsible for this. No, but how can I know? He's down on the ground like there. I think he's going to be OK. You don't turn your back on the cripple threat. I'm so excited. AGT has changed my life already in such amazing ways. Uh, it's given me so many new possibilities to mess with people, which is fun. Um, every time I'm at the airport, like people are recognizing me a lot. And every time someone recognizes me, they always approach me this way, which is so strange. They'll be like, um, uh, are you the guy from AGT? 
So I've just been saying, no. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> Tell me what specifically about me makes me, do you think we all look the same? Some of you look really confused right now, and I love that. You're very uncomfortable. That makes me very happy. You're not used to a handicapped guy being this confident. I love that. Some of you, that, you don't even know where to look. I love it. It's so much fun for you. You're like pretending nothing weird's happening below the neck, which is very sweet of you. Like having these arms is the one thing I have in common with a woman with huge boobs, just people struggling to make eye contact as they talk to you. <laughs> My eyes are up here, Howie, all right? I'm here. <laughs> and this disability is like a superpower for me. I can take even the most negative situations and make them fun for myself. I guess a true story, a few months ago, I totaled my car. That part, not funny, I understand that. <laughs> um, I did find out, though, if you get hit by a semi on the freeway, it wins, all right? I figured that out for everybody, you don't gotta do it. So after I got hit by this truck and I was getting my bearings, trying to make sure I was okay, the driver of the truck, he got out to check on me? <laughs> and as he turned the corner and saw me for the first time, you could see the moment on his face where he went, oh my God, how hard did I hit him? <laughs> and it didn't help that I just looked at him and went, help me look, help me look. <laughs> they gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> All right, I'm Ryan Nemo, you all. Thank you so, so much. Oh, how is everybody tonight? Awesome. I feel so good tonight. If I could wear a wedding ring, I'd marry myself. Let's do this. Uh, I got extra dressed up for you guys tonight. Wanted to look my best. Got extra dressed up. You're welcome. <laughs> I do still have the beard. I was going to shave it, but I didn't have four hours and a pint of blood I could afford to lose, so this is what you get. <laughs> That one's for me, I like that one. <laughs> so I take being a comedian with this disability very seriously. It's very important to me. I don't know any other comics who have anything like this. I appreciate it because I get to tell people the real stuff, what it's actually like to have a disability. People get so uncomfortable. A lot of you right now still looking at me like this is the worst after school special I've ever seen. <laughs> when does he save the school? And I love being here in Los Angeles. I love being here because you guys don't have a winter season. I grew up near Lake Michigan. We had terrible winters. I hate the winter. It's not for me. I couldn't wear all the appropriate winter clothing. Always made it rough. Like, I couldn't wear gloves. No matter how many times my dad drunkenly bought them for me. Every time my dad would buy me a new pair, I'd have to be like, Dad, these gloves aren't going to work. I don't have 10 fingers. I think you're just seeing double. He'd be like, shut up, Ryan, and put on your two hats. <laughs> That's where my mom came in, though. My mom is the sweetest woman in the world. I love her to death. That's where she came in, because I couldn't wear gloves. She had a backup plan. So what she would do is she would take tube socks and put those on my little nubbins. And yes, mom, those tube socks were a great idea until the first time those tube socks touched snow. Then they just became frostbite traps. <laughs> I thought you loved me. You didn't get those socks from under my bed, did you? <laughs> All right, easy, easy. It was a joke, it was a joke. We grew up poor, I didn't have a bed. <laughs> all right, I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you. Hey, YouTube, it's me, Howie Mandel. I'm screaming because I don't know what your volume is set at. If you want to see more, press subscribe below. Maybe their volume is okay.